Hello. It's always difficult for me to juggle this, so I'll try my best. I want to do a little study here. Um, if you want to see a contrast between James and Paul, I'm going to go to Romans where Paul wrote this letter. And it says, it says, for we hold that no one or that one is justified by faith apart from works. Now this is uh, Romans 3, uh, 28. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Or is God, the, is, is God the God of the Jews only? And it's very important you understand that. He is not the God of the Jew, the, 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 the uh, He's, he's the God of the Gentiles and the Jews, and the way to salvation is basically through, um, through, through trust in Jesus Christ. And this is what Romans was talking about. In the beginning chapters, he was saying that there's no difference between Jew and Greek. So, so basically, um, a man is justified by faith apart from the laws, and it's the same thing for the Jew and the same thing for the Gentile. Or is God the God of the Jews only? Is he not the God of the Gentiles also? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Since God is one, he will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Because we, though the law was written about Jesus Christ. And this is when you look at Matthew chapter 5, you say, well, your righteousness has to be righteousness, has to be more righteous than the Pharisees. And when you say, uh, when Jesus said that not one jot or one tittle of the law will pass away, well, part of that law was faith in Jesus Christ because Moses wrote about the righteousness to come through faith in Jesus Christ because he talked about the prophet to come in the Old Testament, in the law. So when Christ fulfilled the law, he took the legalism of the law away to open up a new way in Christ, and that was part of fulfilling the law, the whole law. If you don't take one jot or one tittle away, you can't take Christ out of the law. So what then shall we say uh, was gained by Abraham, our, our forefather, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, it is wages. Uh, you know, it's counted as wages, uh, and it's not counted as a, as a gift. So when you work, you want to get paid, but this is a gift, right? Now, to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. So in other words, God owes you salvation if you work for it. And to the one who does not work, but trusts him who justifies the ungodly. And here's the word justifies. His faith is counted as righteousness, just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works. So that's around uh, Romans chapters 3 and 4, and you can read through it. But now let's take a look at James. Know this, beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness that God requires. Therefore, put away all filthiness and ra rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. So what word is able to save your souls? Well, the word of God, Jesus Christ. But James doesn't say that. He goes on to say, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. What do you mean doers of the word? Doers of the word means have faith in Jesus Christ, but James doesn't say that. He says, be doers of the word. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty. Now, this is not the law of liberty from your sins in Jesus Christ. This is you trying to be blessed by following the law. This is basically what James is saying. The law of liberty says nothing about grace in Jesus Christ and, and preserves 
being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but he, uh, he, um, the person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God, the Father, is this, to visit orphans and widows. See, this is all works, works, works now. And it, it's talking about your salvation. It, it, you know, it's just being, he, he, he says, be justified. A man is justified by not, uh, uh, by, by not uh, faith only, but by, by doing the word of God. This is nothing more than Moses, because Moses, uh, this is Moses without Christ. This is the Moses side that the, the Jews rejected the blood and the sacrifices and went towards their own ability. So, what good is it, my brother, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Here we go. We're at, we're at uh, James 2.14. Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one, one of you says to him, go in peace and be warmed and filled without giving them things needed for the body, what good is that? Well, so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Well, this talks about a saving faith that requires you to help orphans. It's always good to help people. It's always good to do good deeds. But we're talking about doing good deeds in return for something. And remember back here it said in, in Romans chapter 4, what then shall we say was gained by Abraham our forefather according to the flesh. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Now to the one who works, it's, his wages are not counted as a gift, but his due. Now our faith is a gift. So basically you have something to boast about if you're James here. Well, you should save me, God, because I was good to this widow and this orphan. Well, weren't you buying salvation by your works? So were the works really uh, uh, works that aren't burned up? Right? And... To the one who does not work, but trusts him who justifies the ungodly. And here we're justified by our faith. His faith is counted for righteousness. So this is a, this seems very strange that, 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 that somehow or another, and it's, it, it's mentioned again. Um, uh, hold on just a second here. Hello, Brother Luke. Not too bad. I was just in the middle of doing. A, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing a video, and I'm here in uh, in James, my favorite guy, and uh, comparing it to um, to uh, Romans chapter four, chapters three and four, in a little section there, and comparing the the speech of James to the and to the speech of Paul. And I guess I'm going to cut this video short and I'll just post it the way it is and maybe I'll do a, a, a sequel to that. So let me just shut that off.